Players hoping for a win tonight against one of their closest opponents. But they came up short tonight. Sports director Stephen Hicks is breaking down what this loss could mean for the team now. Stephen. Jackie, they're not just looking to win. They're looking to rebound after the embarrassing home loss to previously winless Northern Arizona on Saturday. Coach Barnes told us today he's not so much worried about the wins and losses at this point in the season, instead focusing on the growth of his young team. Now the runners, they controlled the tempo in the first half. It was 28-26 dogs at the break. But Fresno State started that second half on a 16-20 one run over those first eight minutes. Terrell Carter, two of his 16 points. Now, we've talked about CSUB's dry spells. They didn't score until just under 12 minutes left in the game. Defense turned in into offense there. Ricky Holden with the layup. He finished with nine points. The runners would actually cut the deficit to 10 here with this Justin Davis three-pointer. He finished with six points and then some post work from Sean Briggs. He finished with the team at 13 points, but Fresno State, that second half performance just too much as the runners drop their fourth straight shoot just 33 percent from the field after the game coach Barnes talked about the difference in tonight's game yeah in the first 20 minutes was our way uh, second half uh, 20 minutes with their way and because the second half is the one that determined to win that's how they won the game now the runners return home this Friday to take on Life Pacific at 11 a.m. That's the third annual education day that's already a sellout. They also play this Saturday against Idaho at 7. For now in the studio, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.